Security camera watchers. What is your yikes? He probably wanted nobody else to see that moment you've seen over the monitor. I saw clearly mentally disabled man jerk off behind some tables. Didn't actually see anything, but the hand motions were pretty obvious. He stopped and walked over to his mom when he saw her nearby. Lady didn't notice a thing. If life was a video game he'd get an achievement for that. Worked at an assisted living facility at night. A guy returned in the middle of the night from the hospital, dropped off by a family friend. The man sat outside in the snow for 2 hours just talking. No one was there. I only heard half of what he said but the gist of it was he was praying that his wife was with their eldest child watching over him. How he was feeling shattered and just wanted to pretend the day didn't happen. His wife had a brain aneurysm that morning. She was getting ready for breakfast and died in the bathroom. He screamed for help but she was dead before she hit the ground. He went into shock and took a fall. He was sent to the hospital and came back that night. His kids lived a state away. He ended up dying a few months later. That is heartbreaking. Working on an industrial estate as a CCTV operator. Working nights we used to get cars come on who used to park up and chill for a little while. This wasn't allowed as it's a private estate so I'd have to ring the security patrol officer to drive down and get the cars to move. One night I followed a car on camera, which had two people in the car, male, the driver, and female. He thought he stopped in a secluded location and proceeded to lay back as the woman moved her head down, giving him a BJ. You want to know the funniest thing? This was actually a police car. Yep I had a police officer giving a BJ to the other police officer on the CCTV. Best one so far. I once lived in a building whose front doors had a panel of glass on either side. One day my phone went off while heading toward the door, and as I wasn't paying attention instead of going through the door I walked into one of the glass panels. I was so unaware of what I was doing that I didn't even slow down and smash the glass with both my head and knee as they hit it. I fell backwards into the ground, flailing and swearing. When I got up nobody was around, so I fled the scene. Fast forward 2 weeks later and I'm in the elevator with the building handman. I had been avoiding the front door since the incident because I didn't want to have to pay for the repair. As we are going down he turns to me and asks, so, how bad did it hurt when you walked into that panel I laughed and so did he. He said normally it would have been a terrible thing to have to fix, but watching the video of it all happening made it worthwhile. Definitely not something I wanted anyone else to see. I've seen girls send nudes in star rooms, people crapping in corners, one guy crap himself and ran out the store leaving his crap pile on the trail, and a guy masturbating in lingerie. I really hope you watch the camera at some place like a chic filet. Work in a pea shop, and get to see what sex toys people steal, and how they go about it. Last one that happened was a girl who straight up was stealing a crap ton of lingerie, and stuffing her bra with them while her dad is distracting the cashier at the time. I just wonder how it came to that. Like hey dad distract while I steal a bunch of sex outfits? Okay. Saw a few things in my time as a security and surveillance operator for a casino resort. Mostly just sex in the pool after dark and topless sunbathers. Also the time a guard was stabbed 7 times by a dude on ice. I've been a surveillance operator at a casino for just under 2 years. I've seen so many elevator BJS in that time. Like, so many. I see a lot of crazy crap in my current gig, but this happened at my last job as campus security. We got reports of a student in the open computer lab who was jerking it. Like open lab. Other students not 10 feet away from this kid. When confronted, he tried to deny it, so we had to gather footage. Hours and hours of this dude jerking it. That must have been uncomfortable. Cops woke us up pounding on the door at 4am. Neighbor thought a guy was trying to break into our garage. We checked the tapes. Drunk guy was leaning on our trash cans masturbating. This wasn't his first offense. God tier neighbor. When I was working as a concierge, I saw the guy with the broken leg who was attempting to sue the building management for negligence walk normally into the elevator without his cast on, carrying several chairs. He was alleging that his leg was broken because the cleaners failed to clean up an oil slick somewhere in the parkade. I just started laughing my face off because I hated this dude. 
he was an arrogant pain in the butt. It got even better. Right when he reached the floor his apartment was on and I saw him glance up and the look of consternation that appeared the split second he noticed the camera. He then dramatically sagged in place and limped off the elevator dragging the chairs. I think the call I made to the building manager was one of the most gleeful phone calls I've ever made. I was cackling the entire time I pulled the footage. The building manager laughed so hard he cried. It was total luck too. I happened to look at that particular screen at exactly the right moment. Otherwise, never would have seen it. Aquity or bullshit I roll. One night I was monitoring CCTV cameras, watching a busy main street that was known for random acts of drunk violence. As I'm panning across the street I notice a girl who looks really familiar. So I decide to zoom in and see who she is. Suddenly I recognize her as someone who works in my security firm. She just happened to have had her hair down and wore a lot of makeup. I'm about to pan away, and as I'm doing that, I notice a big bulky looking guy approach her and he appears to grab her and push her inside a doorway. I quickly go back zooming in, and think omg he must have slammed her against the wall so hard that she seems to be sliding down the wall. Maybe she hit her head when he pushed her. So I am zooming in to get more detail and as the focus clears, I notice her head bobbing back and forth with her hands on guy's hips. I quickly zoomed away, but I was required to log the time and reason for taking manual control of the camera, so I tried to keep it as vague as possible, but that did not stop others from my company from checking out what was actually on the footage. I never saw her in the same way again. Well then, here I think you take the cake for uncomfortableness in one story. I was the one being watched, masturbating multiple times in a psych ward bathroom. I was in psychosis at the time and completely forgot there were cameras in every room. I work summers at a building in NYC and regularly watch the cameras to keep an eye on contractor in just the building. And one time saw a resident, who was pretty elderly and had a wife, start aggressively making out with a younger woman in the elevator. He passed and his wife now has the apartment in a very nice neighborhood in Manhattan and not sure she ever found out. Worked security downtown at a high rise. We had a covered loading dock that had a trash compactor and a few parking spaces. We had several cameras overlooking the area. The amount of people that I've seen stumble and drunk to pee or crap behind the trash compactor is shockingly high. It wasn't ways homeless either lots of normal bar goers thought it was a good place to pee. There happened to be a little speaker on the dock door. If we couldn't get to them before they started, one guard had to be at the desk at all time. So the patrol man would need to be close we would shout snarky things to embarrass them. The looks on their faces when you said that you had a crap on camera was just wonderful. I once saw an older gentleman walking around talking to a few of my co-workers. He then got real still and stood in place for about a minute. Afterwards he shook his pant leg and made a beeline for the door. Turns out he was shaking turds out of his pants. One of my co-workers who had kids cleaned it up no big deal. Bless her. Mayo reminds me of Meeple Station. Used to work as door staff at a PC World store. Would check CCTV from that day for the last hour of my shift. The amount of people you see looking around and going into an empty aisle to itch their nuts accent butt is crazy. I'd call that polite. Itchy body parts is a very human thing. A buddy I got still lives with his ex who he thought has been stealing his stuff. He showed me a video of her kicking the crap out of her toddler and picking her nose. When I was a closing manager at McDonald's we would close at midnight. Around 10.30 or 11pm or so I'd go to the office to get started on closing paperwork and watch the cameras drive through. One night while looking at the drive through camera with a headset on a car full of people pulled up to the speaker. The front passenger gets out not knowing he's facing the camera and whips it out and starts pee. I called my crew in to see this crap. Two of us turned the headset mics on and said that's a nice dong boy. He freaked and jumped in the car and they sped around the building. We all hung out the window waving at them. Guess that's the only time we ever had a dong in the drive through that was hilarious lol. It's amazing how many people don't realize they're pretty much always being watched. If I had to jump out in the drive through to pee I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to hear someone say something. I probably would have said thanks and started waving it back and forth while pee. All I know is that a few days ago, I thoroughly checked the positioning of my boobs and everything before entering a building. 
for reasons. Sure enough, today I found out that there is a camera in front of said building. So if I find myself described in this thread now I'll go nuts. So one time when I was working, I had to check the camera because someone complained that a girl was being provocative. And I saw a girl adjusting her boobs before she walked in. I really hope she's not in this thread. We had security cameras at a deli I worked at years ago. The boss had a tiny office and there was a big window in the office door. I walked past his office one day and, yep, he was in there masturbating. He was watching my co-worker on one of the cameras and jerking it, she was pretty attractive. He had no idea I was coming in, he thought it was just the two of them there. I don't think he ever knew that I saw, never mentioned anything to anyone. Can't believe you passed up on a promotion like that. Oh god, I got stories. Grossest crap I ever saw was a worker picking her front junk. Hand down pants. Switches to the back. Scratching. Hand down pants. Pulls her hand out and sniffs it. Then licked it. Yes, really. Seen one dude whacking it. Blew his cheddar on a rack of fubu. Other dudes peeping out young girls. Taking photos. One time a dude was snapping up skirts with a pole camera set up. Before selfie sticks were a thing. Co-worker had a dude beating his crap in the little girl's department. Had him arrested. Elderly dude, almost certainly with Alzheimer's or dementia had little crap nuggets running down and out his trousers and rolling on the floor. Drunk dudes pee. Everywhere. Seen a dude get hit and run over by his own getaway vehicle while trying to make a felony theft. I was doubled over laughing rewinding and replaying that video. Saw a worker keep going out to her car during the day who we were asked to keep an eye on due to missing money and possible merchandise thefts. Watched her smoke rocks twice. Parked right near the cam. And we zoomed in. Great angle. Been bitten. Stabbed. Scratched. Punched. And sprayed. Used to be the best job ever but they stopped letting us touch people. And word got out. Now people just steal and they're like can't touch MEB. Corporate America got really skittish on force when that United Airlines video went out when airport police went apple shit. Everyone's got a cell phone anymore. I'm just like if force was justified. It's justified. But someone's always being an butt. So I get it. And even justified stuff can look iffy with shaky video, bad sound, and asinine commentary. Whoever sought spine you might get a kick out of this story. I didn't watch CCTV as part of my job. I worked at a pizza place making the dough and making pizzas. However, managers could access the cameras from any computer and watch them. We only had like 5 super small store in a really small town. It had happened the night before, a night I was surprisingly not working, and one of my co-workers was taking all of the 2 liters out of the cooler because it was either dirty or some dressing had spilled. As he was taking out the 2 liters he accidentally dropped one and like in a freaking cartoon it landed upside down and at a perfect angle to crack the seal and it shot with 100% accuracy into the co-worker running the oven's nuts. Thankfully he was just waiting for pizzas to cook and didn't have anything hot in his hands or on the table. So no damage done other than the rocketing bottle into his nutsack. A group of local jugglers were kicking a hacky sack in an area of the park well known for narcotic sales. The leader of this little gang, and a minion, both took a wild kick at an errant sack. The leader taking the minion's kick square in the nards. A leader guy dropped into the fetal position. Tears flowing freely. Minion stood about howling in delight. Video gold. Yesterday, guy didn't think anyone would see his kid. 3-4 max. Whip his little pingling out and pee on the cut corner of the town hall I work in right outside the front door. I walked over to said door opened it a slight bit and told him we have a bathroom if you just ask and shut the door. While not a security cam watcher there's one on the parking lot so on a Sunday when there's just my truck out there even when one of the stray cats or a squirrel goes across the parking lot it draws my attention. I thought this guy was coming up to the door to knock at first. Nope was working the evening shift of the front desk once. Girl goes up the elevator wearing a coverall. Reaches between her legs. Gets a good scratch in. Pulls her hand out. Inspects it closely. Puts it in mouth. She noticed the camera at the very last second. Her jaw dropped. LOL. 
It wasn't bad but I did watch a guy have an epic air guitar solo for like 10 minutes while hiding from my responsibilities at work once. A dude was pushing 70 and always acted like a hardest but apparently is totally down to have a concert with his imaginary friends on the clock. I live on an acreage in the forest. My house cams caught a few coyotes take and kill a raccoon from the garbage can. Coyotes aren't cuddly puppies people. Yeah frick those creepy things. They get huge in Colorado and that yip yapping they do when they find a kill always happens right as you're about to fall asleep. I was working for security at a mall in Raleigh and we would always have this man and woman frick in the parking lot. It was always around the same time of day and it was always in her car. This went on for about 2 weeks, that we knew of, but we could not catch them. It was a pretty big mall and by the time we seen them and got someone to head their way they would leave. We did have their tag number and was on the lookout. One day they didn't frick but went into the mall. We sent the manager over to stop them and warn them that if we catch them in the act that we would have the cops involved and they would be banned from the property. Both of them denied it but we had proof in the form of video. Same car and tag number. And we showed them the video. Come to find out it was the lady, just not her husband in the video that she was fricking. Her hubby was. For your information, I guess they stayed together I seen them back in the mall together 2 years after that. That's one way to get caught. In Kuwait there was a base wide security net. Every night at 9.30 sharp we would switch the feed from the base cash and disbursement vault to watch two service members. Pretty fit young Asian guy and a drop dead gorgeous busty redhead. Get it on in the cash vault. They had no idea there was a camera. All that 25 guys in the sec ops building were gathering with popcorn and snacks to provide critique on the couple's performance. Or input improvised running dialogue. Or laugh uproariously the time he accidentally came in his own eye. I was a marine attached to air force security forces while waiting to deploy to Iraq. The day before I flew out I stopped by the disbursement office and on my way out asked hope your eye is doing better before walking out leaving him totally speechless. Interesting. I have a camera set up for my dog. I logged in yesterday because I knew he would be getting home from his daily walk. It was raining yesterday afternoon. What do I see just as I open up the camera? That little bastard jumps up on the couch and dries himself off by rubbing his body against all of the cushions. I used to work for a big hotel pub chain. And at the staff party each year they do a compilation of all the stuff caught on security cameras over the year. Uncensored. Full on sex in a stairwell. BJ in the lift. A guy leaning over the bar and barfing straight into the ice well. I stopped watching after that. While running sound at a high society charity auction at a local community college, there was a big focus on wine. It was always fun to pan tables every year and watch the high class buttholes get progressively more and more crap faced. The one time that stuck out was a couple at a table who were increasingly aggressively eye fricking each other with every glass. The best part was there was another dude at the table that they were completely ignoring. His rising discomfort as the evening progressed was the highlight of my evening. Bonus round. Probably the ultra conservative cult that would register under a fake name and bring out daggers, cow skulls, and other bizarre crap while Frick knows what they were singing about. What? What the Frick? Late night. A couple was strolling in a part of the hotel park they probably thought wasn't covered by the cameras. They'd decide to have sex perched on a railing. Cue a few moments of him jack hammering the girl from behind. A long pause. Him pulling away embarrassed and her looking very disappointed. Then the railing gave in. As a kid when you're at the grocery store and you start eating the grapes then you look up and there's like 5 freaking cameras watching you eat the grapes. Then you feel guilty about the 10 grapes you ate at the store when you were like 8. I'm reflecting on my life choices rn. I used to eat one grape every time my mum got them, but I used to sneak more. Then I saw a camera and I did the exact same thing. On the other side, I once did a choreography to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious while in an escape room, while they watched on the camera. Me and my bro were doing an escape room and as a joke we called the camera Karen. It responded with I like Jen more but that's okay so we kept calling it Karen. At one point there was a little magnet maze my brother did and he got angry at it and just yelled god dang it I blame you Karen I was looking for more clue and I saw the camera just slowly point down to the floor and went now look. 
she's gonna want free console now. We finished the room with about 15 minutes to spare. A 1 hour challenge. And the dude at the counter said it was the funniest thing he'd seen aside from a guy getting stuck on top of a wardrobe like bit in the room. The back corner of the convenience store I used to work at was a prime peeing spot, esp since it was next to a bar. I've watched at least 5 grown men pee into the bushes. Not the wildest story here but def something I wish I could unsee. I used to review cameras for the public transit. We have buses and light rail cars for a metro city. Anyway, there's a lot of craziness that goes on. This particular video that sticks out is two guys on the rail platform and these kids were running around the platform. As the kids run near the two guys, one of the men pulls out a gun to the other guy. Looked like a threat, not actual kill. Doesn't shoot, but the kids notice and run away probably screaming. No sound. I don't think he meant for the kids to see, hard to say. The guy looked like he was trying to be discreet to threaten, not necessarily kill, otherwise. I don't think he would have cared to shoot a kill with witnesses around. None of the cameras record sound, so I can only judge based on what I saw, not what I heard. They both ended up leaving. I don't know what happened after that. The police deal with the reports after I got the clip of video they needed. It was a pretty chilling to watch. I've only ever seen people do it in movies. I'm glad I didn't have to review footage of someone getting murdered. Worst I've seen is someone not looking both ways to cross the street after getting off the bus and get sent flying into the air by an oncoming car. It's amazing how dumb people are when you work certain jobs, like security. Saw a male nurse pick his nose after doing rounds and inspect it. Guy's first day on the job. Didn't know there were security cameras. Our office manager loves to watch the facility cameras in the field. We were at corporate, and this be loved to watch the cameras and call people out. But this was a funny one. When I was like, 14, I was on vacation with family. We were staying at a red roof inn, and I wanted some alone time. So I went out to the staircase and sat in the corner and did my teenage boy thing. When I was done, I looked up, and there was a security camera pointed right at me. Someone out there watched a teenage boy diddle his fiddle and got paid to do it. A couple of years ago I worked at a public high school. Near the time we were closed I was called on to duty. After maybe 1-2 hours and I saw teacher on a camera. He processed to take his computer out of his bag and sat down at his chair. He looked suspicious so I kept watching. Big mistake. He opened the computer. Not a minute later and I began to hear the song Country Road coming from his computer I watched as he got out of his chair and began dancing along. I was laughing so hard that I had to call someone to take my shift when I got into my car I was in tears. I eventually quit because of my jerk boss but that was the best moment in my life. Well this one guy was stuffing iPhones in his backpack. He probably didn't want to be seen, because when I went to talk to him he started running away smh. So I work in loss prevention in the UK back when I was on nights. The night would consist of taking the evening guard off and sitting in the office looking at cameras for the odd shoplifter and watching Netflix. So one night around 2am I'm sat flicking through cameras when I notice a guy squatting on the floor in the clothing department. At this point I couldn't quite see what he was doing so decided I'd walk over and see what was going on. What a freaking big mistake that was. I get there and the guy is in the middle of having a crap right on the floor making the most unholy noises as he does so. He turns around looks at me, panics and attempts to pick his crap up in his hands and tries to run out the door while profusely apologizing. Then the smell hits me it was as if someone had died and been left to fester. I felt even worse for the cleaner who had sought this guy's mess out. This was 2 years ago and the memory is still just as vivid as seeing it and smelling it and is by far the worst thing I'll ever witness in this job. Hopefully anyway. Rule Britannia. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.